The House of Haller presents Tales of the House of Haller. Beneath, the lovable green tree frog sat on the edge of a branch high atop the mighty oak. She watched the sun rise and set. She watched the moon rise. And set. She ate the flies that buzzed around her head and drank the rain that fell. She was very happy. Every night Bernice would find a comfy nest of leaves somewhere around the top of the mighty oak in which to settle down to sleep. One night she found a particularly comfy nest of leaves and as she looked up for one last glint of the shooting stars in the night sky above she saw just above her head a single golden leaf. It looked so nice that she wanted to eat it, but the flies would have been jealous. The next morning, instead of leaping and springing around the mighty oak as usual, Bernice remained in her nest of leaves and stared at the golden leaf and smiled at it. She stared all day. The flies, who had not been eaten all day, buzzed around Bernice angrily. Why aren't you eating us? demanded the Fly King, who, just to be clear, was an actual fly. If you do not eat me, the Fly King explained, then one of my two million children will not become Fly King tomorrow. Bernice looked at the Fly King. Petit pois, je n'ai pas femme, j'avais la moi. At this, the Fly King began to cry, though he did not speak French. You may have noticed I can't speak French very well either. Shh. He fell in love with Benice's voice. It made him so happy that he rested on a nearby twig where he cried wet tears onto his warm belly. Benice understood. She felt the same way, just not about him, but about... about the golden leaf. <laughs> <laughs>